Hello, in this example we're going to take a look at one of the problems that can occur using the board account method. So we have our preference schedule here and first we're going to determine how many voters there are in this election. And so to determine the number of voters you would add um, the numbers on the top. So 6 plus 2 plus 3 gives us 11 voters. Next, how many first place votes are required for a majority? So now we need to take the no total number of voters and divide by 2. And 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. So for a majority we would need 6 total voters. Now determine the plurality winner and are they also the majority winner? So we can see that candidate A has 6 first place votes. Candidate B has two first place votes. And we can see that candidate C has three first place votes. And so the um, plurality winner would be candidate A. Next are they the majority winner and they are the majority winner. They do have six first place votes. Put that in the wrong place. Let me move that. And so yes, they are the majority winner. Now we want to determine um, the winner using the board account method. So there are a total of four candidates in this election. And so the fourth choice will get one point, third choice two points, second choice three points and first choice will get four points. Candidate A, so we'll do four times a parenthesis plus three times a parenthesis plus two times a parenthesis plus one times a parenthesis and candidate A has a total of six first place votes and then no second place votes and no third place votes and they have a total of five last place votes. So we have four times six plus three times zero plus two times zero plus one times five and this should give you a total of 29. Next for candidate B we'll have four times a parenthesis plus three times a parenthesis, plus two times a parenthesis, plus one times a parenthesis. And now remember, these are the points. So this is four points for first choice, three points for second choice, two points for third choice, and one point for last choice. So B was first choice on two ballots. They were second choice on six ballots. They were third choice on three ballots and they were fourth choice on zero ballots. We have four times two plus three times six plus two times three plus one times zero and this gives us a total of 32. Candidate C is four times a parenthesis plus three times a parenthesis plus two times a parenthesis plus one times a parenthesis. Candidate C was first choice on three ballots. They were second choice on two ballots. They were third choice on six ballots and they were last choice on zero of the ballots. We have four times three plus three times two plus two times six plus one times zero. This should give you a total of 30. And lastly candidate D. So we have four times a parenthesis plus three times a parenthesis plus two times a parenthesis plus one times a parenthesis. Candidate D was first choice on none of the ballots. They were second choice on three. They were third choice on two. And they were last choice on six. So we have four times zero plus three times three plus two times two plus one times six and this should give you a total of 19. And so now using the board account method, we can see that candidate B wins.
So candidate B wins using the board account method, even though candidate A was really the majority winner. And so that's the problem that can come up with the board account method from time to time. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.